Welcome to Freshly for Animated. One way of reading the head is to put all your head angles inside a container, which at character level allows you to quickly choose a head angle and animate the facial features. So if I just use the next in previous frame in symbol command, I can very quickly turn the head. And then when I'm happy with the head angle that I've chosen, I can break this apart, hitting Control B. And now when this is broken apart, I have access to my facial features level where I can do lip sync and facial animation. We call this the break apart animation workflow where we use a container to hold the various angles of the head. Some users have noticed that this head here, the master container that contains all head angles, obviously is a part of this rig and it snaps perfectly fine. But also the broken apart head which is a different symbol, it's one level down, it also snaps perfectly fine. So how is this actually achieved? Let's look at our uh, Smart Magnet Rig panel here, let's load the rig and pay attention to the IDs. This is the master head, the container that contains all the head angles and it has an ID of 3. You can see the ID when you keep your cursor over a node and you look uh, at the status bar in the Smart Magnet Rig panel. Now, when we go here, we also have the ID of three. And if we enter this symbol, we'll see that the only active element is actually the head. So these internal heads have the same ID and the same smart magnet rig info as the outer wrapper. How do we actually achieve this? So here we have uh, this setup where this robot is not rigged. So there are no magnet targets, no center markers, and all the head angles are just separate head symbols with their individual timelines. So we have the head turn around. These are all separate symbols. So this is the front and this is the three quarter head and the profile head and so on and so on. Now, first of all, I will wrap these heads in a container. I will use timeline block to symbol top layer and I'll call this all heads. Single frame, just the way it is. I'll create the container, okay. Now this contains all these heads. The next thing that I need to do is I need to re-register. Make sure that the registration point is exactly the same as the registration point of the heads inside the container. So to do this, I will go inside one of these and give it a center marker, just so that I can know exactly where the registration point of this is from the outside. And now I can see, let me just hide the neck. Now, this is where I should place my registration point for the whole head container. It should coincide with the registration point of the heads inside. I'll use set red point to transform point. Okay, so now this is done as well. Now I can use the free style rigging tool and I will rig this character. I'll start from the pelvis and rig up the neck and the head and then I'll just continue with the arms and the legs. Now 
Now this character is rigged. We can check the rig, loading it in the Smart Magnet Rig panel. This symbol here, the head got an ID of three because I started with the pelvis and I went up one, two, and three. It doesn't really matter what number the ID actually holds. Now, if I move this element away and press the tilde key, obviously it will snap into position. But if I create a keyframe here, choose a different angle and break it apart. This one does not have an ID and will not snap. So how do we sort this problem out? Let's remove this keyframe and do the following. Create a blank frame here, draw a little circle, convert this to a symbol. I'll just call it temp. Now select this head and use a rollover rig info. It's uh, either this button here, or you can also access the feature from the Smart Magnet Rig panel. It's this menu entry here, rollover rig info. What this feature does is it transfers the metadata, the rig info from the current frame to the instances to the right or to the left on the same layer. So I will roll over rig info to the right, say OK. And now this little dot contains the ID of three. I'll cut this dot, go inside here where all these don't have any rig info. I'll just put the dot here. And suddenly you can see that this node here lit up and it tells us that the dot has the ID of three. Having the dot selected, I will go roll over rig info and this time I'll choose to the left. And okay, this means that this metadata will be rolled over to all these symbol instances to the left of the selected symbol. So go okay and we don't need the dot anymore. So I'll get rid of this keyframe. Now you can see all of these guys, all of them have the rig info written into them. Now when I go out and choose one of them and then break apart, we have access to this level with facial features and also when I move this um, head away and snap it, it will go into position because it is a part of the same rig. We have successfully transferred the ring information to the containers inside the wrapper. Freshly Flanimated. animated.